Today we look at some foundation sealed products and see how it's affecting the secondary market. Waffles in the morning, syrup seeding slow, golden stacks are rising, sunrise in the glow, sticky choice so grand, breakfast on demand, smile and take my hand in waffle wonderland. What's up everybody, welcome back to Wafflecast. So today we're going to be checking out foundations as a whole, and then we're going to be comparing it to some of the other sets that have been out for a little while. And what I mean by this is we're going to be checking out uh, the availability, the cost, all kinds of different uh, implications that Foundations has had on either the financial um, or even just the, the amount that are in stock on TCG Player. Um, and so the reason why I'm using TCG Player instead of like Channel Fireball or Star City is because a lot of stores and, and individuals sell through TCG Player. So this is one of our big uh, metrics to look at some of the stuff that's going on. So I posted a video couple weeks back i think talking about foundations as a whole of like if you want to get into it i would just wait i would hold off and today i'm gonna i'm gonna explain a lot of the reason why i said that with the numbers that i compiled today so i went through tcg player and i checked out you know how many boxes that were left to be sold for the collector box and the play booster box right and the numbers were interesting um, because I don't think with as much product that has been opened, I don't think we've gone through the entire supply. There, there's just no way. I understand that the, the set was super popular and a lot of people were really hyped about it, but I don't think there's any way within, what, two weeks that we've gone through the entire supply. I do believe that Watsy and Hasbro has held on to a good amount of it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because let's be real, we're in November, right? We have Christmas coming up, we have Thanksgiving, Black Friday, there's a lot of things to come. So realistically, you know, Hasbro is a, is a company, it's a corporation, they have to make money, they have to appease their shareholders. So I do believe that they held back a lot of product to create the hype and the scarcity that's out there right now to get people to buy, get that FOMO, that fear of missing out. And there was a lot of programming with Dustmorn with the card of fear of missing out. I know, conspiracy theorist, right? Um, so anyways, moving on. Like I said, I believe that there is a lot of stock still left to come out. I have, I have talked to some local game stores and some other places and they do, uh, they, they have confirmed that they are getting more shipments in a second wave of collector boxes, of play booster boxes. It may not be as large as the original, um, but they are getting a good amount in. It's probably about 70% of what their initial order was and pre-orders were pretty good. So, um, and that's just in my local area. So you can only imagine across the United States, right? So let's just get into some numbers, right? So I looked at collector boxes and right now there are 71 collector boxes for sale for $310 and under, which is roughly, I think the, the, the market price is like 295. So from 295 to 310, there's about 71 boxes, right? Then from 310 to 350 price point, there's about 34 boxes. And I'm recording this Tuesday, but you know, the day before this comes out. So the numbers may change a little bit considering how many boxes get purchased from now until this video drops. But mind you, there are 31 boxes at 360 to $500. And then there's a seller that has 33 boxes for like 900 plus dollars, okay? I think that's outrageous. I think it'll never get to that point. But in all, there's about 169 collector boxes for sale on TCG Player right now. So if we go into the Play Booster boxes, right? Their uh, market price is about 144, 145 a box, right? And I calculated how many boxes there were, there were, there were on TCG Player, right? At the price point of about $150 to $144, $144 to 150 there's about 73 play booster boxes, right? Then over the 150 mark, as it climbs to like 200, things like that, there are 241 boxes. That gives us about 314 boxes, play booster boxes. So it's about almost double of what's on... Um, what's on it's it's a little under double but it, you know there's there's a good amount right so looking at this right 
there are 169 collector boxes. There's 314 play booster boxes. Obviously, Star City, you know, Card Kingdom, all these other places have their own booster boxes for sale, right? Let's look at, there is only like two cards out of the entire set that if you were to open these cards, they would pay for your collector box because you can only get these out of the collector box, right? It's the Fractured Foil Doubling Season, which is market priced at $342.69. And the Llanowar Elves Fractured Foil at a market price of about $280. Um, I think the last time I checked, and I could be wrong, but I think the pool rate is like 0.7%. Um, that's a ridiculously low pool rate to get a Fractured Foil. Now to get these specific Fractured Foils, you're looking at even a lower percentage than that. Because uh, I want to say off the top of my head, there's probably like 24 to 36 Fractured Foils. So to hit, let's say there's 36, just for numbers sake. I didn't research this, but I'm doing this off the top of my head. Let's say there's 36, right? So that gives you a 1 in 18 chance off of that 0.7%. So you're, you're into really, really obscurely small numbers here, right? To try to make your money back. And then you look at some of the cards in the set and the card prices have been falling because people are opening the product. And guess what? They're going to fall even further once we get this next wave of collector boxes and play booster boxes. Please, please, please. If you don't have the, the funds to gamble i don't want to say gamble that's the wrong word if you don't have the funds to enjoy opening this product without taking a huge hit to your finances don't do it please um i mean yes i've been wanting to open a box myself but i'm not going to put myself in financial risk just so i can get the product that is going to be a five year long product the play booster boxes are going to drop Okay, they're going to come down in price. I wouldn't be surprised if they get down to Murders of Karlov level. Um, the collector boxes, yes, they they have told us that collector boxes are a one print run and done. I think that might change with foundations. I would not be surprised if we get a second print run of them. Um, and it's because of how manufactured this success is with this product right now and what, what i mean by manufactured success is they are creating this scarcity they're creating this fomo they are creating this this desire for people to buy these collector boxes and the price is reflecting that and the the supply is reflecting that as well so let's look at a couple of the Let's look at the last four sets that come out, right? For standard, you have Duskmorn, Bloomborough, OTJ, and Murders, right? If we go backwards, we start with Dustmore. Dustmore collector booster boxes are $220, right? And the, the play boosters are $135. So it's a $10 difference on the play boosters. But the collector boxes, it's almost a $70 difference, right? And there's still good foils and things you can pull out of there. There's playable cards in there too. So I find that interesting that Dustmorn, since it just released so quickly, has dropped so fast because people have moved on to foundations. Let's go back to Bloomboro. Bloomboro is doing a little bit better. 140 for the play boosters, which is only a $5 difference, and about $250 for the collector boxes, which is only about a $45 difference. Yes. So that one's doing fairly well. A lot of people love Bloomboro. It was a great set. Now let's go back to OTJ. OTJ, which was released, oh man, I'm probably going to butcher this, but I'm pretty sure it was like April to May, somewhere in there. $195 for a collector box of OTJ and only $117 for a play booster box, okay? Mind you, yes, OTJ wasn't well received. There are some good cards in there, Terror of the Peak, Bristly Bill, things like that. But you're looking at a hundred dollar difference between the collector boxes and about a thirty dollar difference on the play booster boxes. Now we go to murders, right? Murders of Karlov Manor. A hundred and seventy dollars for a collector box. That's a hundred and twenty-five dollar difference. That's that's a huge difference. And Murders of Karlov Manor has some amazing cards in it. I mean, you got the 10 Surveil Lands, which are all pushing $15 a piece or more. 
Um, you've got, you know, Vi Vein Ripper. You've got Massacre Girl. You've got a ton of good cards in the set. And then you're looking at Play Booster Boxes. They're only $104. $104 versus 144 That's a $40 difference. Like, I'm telling you guys, and I've been saying this for the last six months, Murders of Carlisle Manor is where you're going to make your money. If you want to get into this and you want to make money at this right now, Murders is your best bet. You buy a case of Murders, you're almost, I would say you're probably fairly close to breaking even, if not making money on the set. Surveil Lands, I forget what the print run was, but I believe it's roughly four to five a box. Like if you buy a Play Booster box, is like the average, maybe five to six, I could be wrong. But let's average that out, right? Let's say you get five. That's $75 out of your 104 right there. That's that's pretty good in my opinion. And then you got cards mixed in like Vein Ripper and a couple others that are that are pushing pretty good money. So I mean OTJ, yeah, you don't have a ton of those rares that make up the uh what are you, the meat and potatoes of the of the set to give you back your money, but Murders definitely does. Uh Bloomboro very hot set, very good cards in it as well. People love the set. So like I said, Foundations, going to be a five-year set, right? Just wait, people. Just wait it out. I'm telling you, it's and – if, and if for some reason you're like, I really want to pull this specific card, I was looking at prices. It's, it's ridiculously cheaper to just buy the cards outright that you want – now, if you're looking for every card in the set, that's a little bit different. But let's say you're looking for, you know, four of Johnny's or four Liliana's or anything like that. It's much cheaper and much more advantageous to just go buy the card outright. All the people that have opened the boxes have done the work for you. Just go buy the cards that you want, that you need for the decks, right? Um, and if there is, if you if you got the extra money to spend, I mean, it's on you, like. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm advising people who are, are looking for a smarter way, who are looking for a uh, more efficient way, is the way I'm putting it, to get the stuff that they want, right? I love opening packs. Don't get me wrong. It's it's fun to crack packs and to hit that money card and just be like, yeah. But at the same time, it feels really bad when you open up a pack that would cost you $7 and you got $0.10 cents worth of value out of it. I mean, it, it's a very huge swing, <clears throat> excuse me, with some of these sets, right? So that's the breakdown I got for you guys on this. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you have some comments or feedback on how I did this video or, you know, you'd like to see me do some more analysis of videos like this where it's financially and like breaking down numbers like I did Obviously, I didn't go into breaking down how many boxes of murders and all this other stuff that are out there right now. But I wanted to paint a picture with Modern uh, Modern Horizons, with Foundations, right? Because that is the hot set right now. That is the one that everybody is clamoring over. So that's why I broke down these numbers. I'm showing you guys what it is out there. And like I said, for me personally, I'm just going to wait it out. Being a five-year set, I guarantee you these Play Booster boxes are going to drop in price a lot of these cards that are rares and mythics in the normal printings, not the special treatments, not the extended arts, things like that, they're going to come down in price as well because of the printing of extra boxes and things. But um, Jumpstart was one I didn't get into, but if you guys want to see me start getting into the Jumpstart stuff and breaking those down too, let me know in the comments down below. But this video is already getting longer than I wanted it to. So I'm going to cut it off here so I don't waste any more of your guys' time, which I don't feel like I'm wasting time if I'm helping you, but you get the picture. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys like I always leave you. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay syrupy, my friends. Waffles in the morning, syrup's heating slow. Golden stacks are rising,